Hello, everybody. Welcome to Drunk Farmer. Hello. Uh, well, let me do that intro again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to NFL Picks. I'm Drunk Farmer. There I go. God, it's just been a long week so far. It's only Tuesday. Yes, it is NFL Picks Day. Let's begin. NFL Picks. As you know, uh, Sunday, the Washington football team, they're on a winning streak, if anybody hasn't noticed that, and they're shooting for a wild card. Also, no, it wasn't fake news, and no, it was true. The Detroit Lions finally won their first game. I know, I was a little baffled by it, too. Also, Pittsburgh-Baltimore, that was an ugly game, but hey, it's a typical Pittsburgh-Baltimore game. Rumors have been swirling around the Pittsburgh organization and sources close to the Pittsburgh organizations are saying that Roth, Ben Roethlisberger may retire at the end of the year. I'm just not saying anything just yet about it, but yes, he may retire. That's what's going around the NFL and around the, around the league. So it could be a strong possibility that Ben Roethlisberger will retire at the end of the year. Monday night. Patriots, Bills, you know, supposed to, it was a good game, close game. Um, but the Bills just can't kick the door in right now. They're favored to be, be the AFC East champs. Right now, they're not looking like that. They're having a lot of trouble. They came off a of bye week, played New England, who was basically red hot, and Buffalo lost. Where am I going with this? Here's where I'm going with this. New England's on top of the AFC for the number one seed in the playoff picture. There you go. They're nine and four. Followed by everybody else, Baltimore, Tennessee, and Kansas City, and they're all eight and four. I think the AOC is a wide open race for the playoffs right now, and it'll be a lot of fun to watch. Believe me, it has been a lot of fun to watch. And it's probably gonna get more interesting as the rest of the season goes on. NFC, uh, you got Arizona ten and two. Tampa Bay nine and three. Green Bay is also nine and three. Then you got the Dallas Cowboys who are eight and four. Now somebody asked me about my record before I start the picks, and my record is 119 and 74, which is a 94.3 pick percentage. Not bad. So we'll lead into this. We're going to go picking right now, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're going picking. Uh, Pittsburgh Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings. I just don't have any confidence in Pittsburgh right now. But they are on a roll, though. They are. But Minnesota at home, they're pretty good. Ravens, Ball Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland's not rocking. So we're going with Baltimore. Jaguars, Tennessee. No-brainer, Tennessee. Raiders, Kansas City. These two teams hate each other. They're at Kansas City. I'm picking the Chiefs. Saints, Jets. I'm picking the Saints. Cowboys, Washington, even though Washington's been red hot, Dallas is playing for uh, playing for the division championship and playing for a seed in the playoffs. I'm going with Cowboys. Falcons, Panthers, I'm just going to take the Panthers since they're at home. Falcons haven't really looked all that great on the road, so I'm picking the Panthers. Seahawks, who haven't looked great at all this year, are going to Houston, who really haven't looked all that great this year, going with Seattle. On that game, if anybody wants to, you can just flip a coin. But I'm going to go with Seattle. Yes, the Detroit Lions, like I said earlier, won their first game. Yes, can they win their second game? No, they're going to Denver. Um, Denver's coming off a loss against Kansas City Sunday night or Sunday afternoon. Um, picking Denver. Giants, Chargers, Chargers, easy. San Francisco, Cincinnati, I think Cincinnati needs to bounce back. They are playing for playoff position. Also, San Francisco's playing for a wild card. Cincinnati's playing for a wild card. Cincinnati's at home. I'm going to pick Cincinnati. I should, but I will. Buffalo, Tampa Bay. Wow, Buffalo is just not they're not having a good uh, bye week. Getting off the bye week. First, they had to play New England. Now they have to go down and play Tampa Bay in the Super Bowl champions. I'm picking Tampa Bay at home. Sunday night game, my Chicago Bears against the Green Bay Packers. We know the story with that. Aaron Rodgers has owned the Chicago Bears, basically, for all his, throughout his career. I'm picking Green Bay. Green Bay needs to stay, needs to keep going. And they're only a game and a half out, by the way. Rams, Cardinals. 
Monday night. This should be a fun game to watch. I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals on this one. Yeah, I, Arizona is getting healthy. They got Kyle Murray back. They're starting to get their receiving core back. They're starting to get all their star players back. Los Angeles, the Jekyll and Hyde team. Um, but to tell you the honest truth, I like the Cardinals over the Rams. There you go, kids. If you have your picks or a comment, leave it in the comment box below. Hit that like button. There's my thumb. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the show. Go right ahead. Until next week, I'm Drunk Farmer, and this has been NFL Picks. We'll see you later, and everybody enjoy the rest of your work week and the weekend.